Oh. Sí, man. Ay, yo. Oh. Ay, yo. Oh. Uf. Oh, very hot. I slept on the floor the whole night, OK? Who cares about you? I'm thinking what to make for Geraldine's breakfast. Uh, forgive her already. Bye. Hey, Lord. Um, massage here first. Here also. Come. Uh. Alex, I was thinking do you want to start reorganizing our events room? Maybe you can turn it into a fun family project and get Violet and RC to join in. Um, I'll um, <clears throat> think about it. Alex, decluttering is part of the grieving process. It doesn't mean that we're getting rid of our events things. I know. You mentioned it. I want to help you move on to the next stage. I just want you to feel better by yourself, okay? Good morning! Are you hungry? Come, eat. Oh. No, I haven't brushed my teeth yet. Okay, go and brush. I made your bed for you. Does that mean you have forgiven me for eloping with Benny? Yesterday was yesterday. Today is a new day. You and Benny get married already. You don't want tea ceremony, it's okay. You don't want to go to the house, go to the house, go it's also okay. Why you look so suspicious? Wedding dinner. You haven't mentioned wedding dinner yet. Oh, yeah! You want a wedding dinner, is it? Ma? Okay, no problem. I'll throw you and Benny a big wedding dinner. No, thanks. On me. You don't need to pay. Ma, please. You don't want to collect a bar. Huh? One guess. One hundred dollars. One thousand guess. You made one thousand? No, nine hundred. Ma, the last thing Benny and I want is a big fancy dinner. Dinner is a tradition. You must celebrate with your friends and family. You mean your friends and family? You want the dinner for you, not me. No, no, no. Mainly for you. <sighs> Ma, there will be no wedding dinner, okay? And that's fine up. So if I choose that one, it means there's no such thing, correct? Okay, good. Thank you. Geraldine, still doesn't want a wedding dinner. You offer to pay, Anna? Of course. Why must she be so fussy? 80 tables is nothing. 80? Who have got enough? You better talk to her. No shouting, ah. Huh? I'm going to work. Hey, your pa wants to talk to you. My mind is made up. I don't want a wedding dinner, okay? No, I support you. No need dinner. What for waste money? What did you say? Ah, are you serious? I want you and Benny to annul your marriage. What? Annul. I will find a lawyer for you. Don't worry. On me, I will pay for you. I refuse to believe this conversation ever took place. Bye. I handle everything for you. You and Benny just signed the paper can already. Cool. What are you trying to do? You listen to me. I called the lawyer just now. Annul is better than divorce. You know annul means what? Their marriage never happened. No record, no such thing. You are crazy. Crazy or very smart. <laughs> when they annul, confirm they never marry. Double confirm. Benny is not my son-in-law. People ask me, Tao Ge Heng ah? I heard Geraldine married already. I can say no, never. Where's your proof? Huh? I can't stand you. More than I can't stand Benny. So ching, ping. <laughs> How come he still never returned the calls? But I signed the papers already. Okay, please, please, please keep me informed. Hey, 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 hey. Stop it, but <laughs> What? It's a black and white blue boat to be precise. I haven't seen one in this part of town before, no? I have an important meeting. How can I show up looking like this? Well, I can help you with that. I've got an instant stain remover right here. 
you carry an instant stain remover wherever you go? Uh, yeah, it's a must. Uh. Bird watching is my pastime. You never know when one of them is going to drop a bomb on you. Uh. <laughs> so, may I? Uh, yeah, okay. Please, okay. please. Yeah. Thanks. <sighs> my ma won't give up. First thing this morning, she barges into my room and insists on giving us a wedding dinner. Giving us? She offered to pay. Oh, I told her no. It's not what we want, right? Well, actually, it might not be a bad idea. Are you saying that because she offered to pay? Could be fun. I mean, it's tradition, right? To celebrate with friends and family. Have you been talking to my ma lately? You're starting to sound like her. No, no never. <sighs> okay, Benny, listen to me, okay? We give in and she's going to invite the entire universe. Do you want to make small talk with people you don't know and who don't know you? Then you have to yum sing with them, take photos with them and force yourself to smile with them. And it's not just one time, it's 100 times. She wants to have 100 tables. Chala, man. Oh, and then there's my father's khakis who will insist on giving a speech and cracking private jokes only they find funny. And my bar speech alone will take three hours. <laughs> That one I can believe. Oh, then there's the wedding preparations. I have heard enough horror stories from my girlfriends. I am not putting myself through them, okay? Well, but I'm sure your mom can help with the preparation. <laughs> Her way of helping is by telling you what she likes and what she doesn't like. We will end up doing all the work. Us, okay? Are you up for it? Does that sound like fun to you? Hmm? Hmm? I just realized something. Hmm? Not a very traditional guy. I'm sure she's going to. Grandma, can I get something from the Kopitiam first? I'm sure it's nothing. Melvin and I never said we were exclusive in the first place. Grandma. Pa, can I. Uncle, can I talk to you? Please try to accept that Jeremy and I are married. Please accept me as a son in law. Please listen. Geraldine is very special to me. I want to be a good husband to her. I'm going to make her daughter very happy. I promise you. Then me? You want to make me happy? Of course. Annul your marriage. Huh? You heard me? Annul your marriage! No. Then I will never accept you as my son-in-law. Annul! I can't do that. Sorry. Ah. Thank you. Good as new. Mm hmm. Hey, I have a feeling we've met before, no? I'm Li Yue. Li Yue? Oh, you were there when Heng and Nelly were renewing their vows. I was wondering, when were you going to remember? Huh. I assume that your long-time rivalry with Heng is a thing of the past. No, it's not completely gone. Really? Aren't you and Nelly good friends now? Yes, we are. But Heng and I have been quarrelling for so many years. How can we suddenly be okay? I'm in a hurry. I got to go now. Thanks again. Okay. Bye. All Thanks. right, all right. Madam Chi will be here soon. I prepare a room for you. Oh. Okay, Hang. I was just wondering, have you spoken to Melvin recently? No. Would you happen to know if he was hanging out with anyone else besides his usual khakis? Why you have so many questions? Just wondering. I'm also wondering, when are you going to finish your work? Hey, Nelly, are you free for lunch? Uh, okay, I go to the toilet first. Okay. Hey, hey, how is business? Hey, Li Yue, <laughs> we meet again. <laughs> hey, that was a quick meeting. <laughs> it was over in five minutes. <laughs> pa, you sabo me. You go and tell Geraldine it's okay to marry Benny. Hey, can I give you a friendly advice? Huh? It's done, okay? Get used to it. No. In a year or two, uh, Geraldine might even be pregnant with Benny's kid. Are you going to hate your grandchild also? You double sabo me. You told her to make babies already. <laughs> I didn't tell her anything that she and Benny cannot decide for themselves. How come you cannot see? Benny is useless. Geraldine got zero future with him. Hey, have more faith in the daughter, okay? 
Maybe Geraldine will have a positive effect on him and turn him into a successful entrepreneur like you. A partnership like you and Natalie, won't that make you proud? Hey, you surely know that our happiness has nothing to do with our children's happiness. Why are you not busy catching fish? I'm meeting Christine later. Okay, let's go eat. <laughs> Bye. Mm. Bye. 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 Let's go. You didn't tell me your pa wants us to announce our marriage. Will you? No. That's why I told you to go and fly kite. Wow. Were you scared? Oh, not those exact words. But I had to be damn steady. I had to be fierce for you. You did it for me? Of course. You're my wife. Still not used to saying that word. I don't know what to do about Alex. He'll spend the whole night in Aravind's room. Just sitting there in the dark. It's been only what, a few weeks. The best thing you can do for Alex uh, is to leave him alone. You cannot rush these things. Uh. I know. I have been trying to be patient, but I just hate seeing him like this. You know? When I lost your mother, it was the same. Good sleep. I wake up 2, 2.30, 2 stayed awake the rest of the night. It was like that for months. Okay, eventually, Alex will come to a point when he'll start to open up again. He needs you more than you think, okay? What about you? When do you reach that point? How do you even know? <laughs> When I started going fishing again, I would find myself a nice, quiet spot. If the fish bite, wonderful. If not, there's always the next time. I try to not let anything get to me. Maybe this is what Alex needs. But when's your next fishing trip? Can bring Alex along? Maybe you can have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with him. I already said, don't force the issue. No, no, no. You fish a bit, chit-chat a bit, then you ease into the topic. <laughs> Me and Moody and Alex, I cannot see myself doing it, okay? <laughs> no, even when he's in the good mood, I, I, I find him... He... Bring Sefu along. <laughs> it won't be so hard. Hey, like it was. Uh, you complain about Benny and Geraldine. Uh, he scared away all the fish. Pa, you went fishing with them before. How bad can it be? <sighs> it was an experience uh, to forget. Uh. Please, just one fishing trip, and I won't ask again. Mm -mm. Oh, can you do this for me, please? And this little guy? You know, at my age, stress isn't good for me. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Great. <laughs> Thanks, Pa. Okay, now it's here. I promised Bochu to help her with Geraldine. Tie, <sighs> ever since Geraldine was born, you've only wanted one thing. To get your daughter married. And on top of that, you happen to think that Benny's a good catch. So, we are asking you to please be happy for the both of them. Since when I say I'm not happy? Hey, Geraldine, actually what your ma wants is very fair. She wants to invite 1,000 people to the wedding dinner I don't want. Hey, you see, ah, uh, actually, Da Sao has been doing her best to persuade God to accept Benny. So you put aside your issues and meet her halfway. Hmm? What do you mean by halfway? Can we have a suggestion? For the both of you, right? Instead of a wedding dinner now, how about a first anniversary dinner instead? One year later, ah? Okay. I can live with that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thanks, Ma. I want 50 tables. 50? Of where what? Ma, please. Can't I just have something small, like four or five tables? 40. Okay, okay. Ladies, please. 
you have to be on the same page. Yeah, God is your enemy, not each other. Huh? Okay, how about six tables? Okay, set, plus five. Belvin, I need to know where I stand. Did we discuss this already? Li Yue is not as nice as you think she is. And who do you hear that from? Heng? <laughs> so he may be a little biased about her. But still... Everyone has a story. If I'm going to spend the rest of my life worrying about what others think, I must well check it out in right now. We were good together, weren't we? Olivia, it's best that you make it right with Nelly first. Huh? She's still traumatised by what you did to her. Why? You and Benny quarrel already. Eh? Change your mind, huh? I was going to ask you nicely to leave us alone. But now, we are not going to annul our marriage. Okay. Don't annul. Divorce. This is going nowhere. Face it, you will never approve of who I marry. Dominic. Come say. Come say? Gone case. He only got two old levels. You see? He was my sec four boyfriend and you still can't get over it. If you have nothing new to tell me, you better go. If you continue to interfere in my marriage, I will cut you off. You will never speak to me again. <laughs> again? Same track. Empty words. Not this time. If you don't annul your marriage, I will cut you off. Go ahead. Huh? Hey, 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 Olivia. Come, 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 join us. Come, sit. Olivia, how's life? Why? I'm getting scolded you again. Just having one of those days. Hey, yeah, life can't be that bad. You passed the initiation, didn't you? Yeah, with flying colours. We can all see the difference in you. Really? Mm. You think I'm a better person now? Mm. No longer Olivia's star. It's Olivia's superstar! <laughs> you know what? Dinner is on us. Whatever you want. That's so nice. But can we go and eat somewhere else? I'm so sick of the food in here. Yeah. Me too. Let's go. <laughs> Jiefu, hmm? can I talk to you for a minute? Do you mind going on a fishing trip with Pa and Alex? With your father? Forget it. Let me explain. Alex has been feeling really depressed because of our event. I think... The fishing trip will be a good break for him. Then you don't need me, what? Your company will be good for him. Tiefu, you know how to talk to people. I mean, as a grassroots leader, you offer a listening ear. Not only listen, must also solve problems. That's where your words of advice will be crucial. Alex has been keeping all his sadness inside him. Even I'm having trouble getting him to open up. Is it? I didn't know it was so serious. You see, you're the only man in the family who's strong enough and experienced enough to give Alex some direction. Mm. Alex cannot give up hope so easily. I will do my best for him. Oh my goodness. So you'll be going for the fishing trip? Yeah. Alex needs me. Thank you so much, Tiffo. Thank you. Crap. Hey, Sarah. What's wrong? Oh, I forgot my wallet. Oh, it's okay. I'll take care of it. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Oh, one coffee, please. Can I join you? Oh, sure. How's school? It's all right. Uh, I'll pay you back for the food. <laughs> no worries. Take your time. You think I like to hear you complaining? Back pain, shoulder pain. I told Geraldine, if she and Benny don't break up, I will cut her off. Good night. Oh. Eh, I didn't mean it. 
I was angry. Are you going to give them a chance or not? <sighs> give me your word. Mm. Not too loud. Oh. <laughs> so how? You feel better? Yes, I do. <laughs> Thanks for the company. Yeah. Okay. You have a good night. All right. Take care of yourself. Guys, if it wasn't for you, I'd be having dinner alone tonight. Thank you. Uh, Olivia, always here for you. Yeah. Here, there, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good night. Okay. Ciao, ciao. Night. Hi, Bema. Ciao, Sadie. Hey. I really miss Melvin. I thought I would be happy just to be friends with him. I didn't think I'd fall in love with him. I had a really good thing going and I messed it up. <laughs> wow, such huge hooks. Then what? You think we're going fishing to catch ikan bilis, ah? Then what's the biggest fish you ever caught? This big. Oh. Actually, this big. Wow! So big. Sure or not? How can I never saw the fish? Too big for our small family, so I let it go. So nice, are you? Let it go without even taking a photo. Fishing. No time for photos. Actually, I've never been fishing. I would love to go one day. Hey! Why don't you go today? Huh? No, no, no. Today is an important day. We need to cheer Alex up. Hey, 